I don't consider my team to be an end game team, but I am certainly getting there. Definitely nice. getting it. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly the best tips and tricks, as well as the steps to get as close as possible to end game status. This way, you can become the strongest anime champion simulator player and impress all your friends or do whatever you want with all this knowledge. Yo, boys, what is up? It's the Blocks Boss. And if you know me, have been following me for a while now, you know that I play a lot of simulator Roblox <laughs> games like Enemy Fighter Simulator and Anime Adventure Simulator. And the more I play these games, the better I get at knowing exactly what we need to do. So in this video, like I said, I'm going to show you the best way to progress in this game and exactly what steps you should take in order to become an end game player. But to do this, we need to break it down to a couple categories. We're going to break it down into four main categories. The first one being getting from the first map to the last map as fast as possible. The second category being getting a maxed out luck team. The third category being getting a maxed out drop team. And finally, the fourth category, getting a max DPS team or getting the highest amount of damage team that you can possibly get in the game. Now, the reason I'm going to be talking about these steps is because I believe them to be the most crucial, the most important. And of course, because they are the steps that you should take in order to progress as fast as possible. So let's talk about the first one. If you're not already on the last map of Anime Champion Simulator, the fastest way to progress through the map is to simply do the quests that are given to you, stack up on as much coins as possible, roll for legendaries, and of course, if you haven't already, you want to enter all the codes that are possible because they give you drop boosts, damage boosts, coin boosts, which are so important and necessary if you want to climb maps faster. Now, I will say that getting from the first map to the last map takes on average at least a day because at some point you're going to get stuck and you're going to need to AFK grind either opening or just coins in general. Like I said, I think the best method to climb maps is to simply do the quests, farm the units. Once you get coins, try to aim for getting a legendary or mythical. And once you get your legendary or mythical, you can go ahead and try to come to the talent machine and give them a triple S like this guy right here. It increases their damage and everything as well as maybe try getting them a better quirk. Now, if you've got that out of the way and you are on the last map, you can most likely start to talk about game passes as you know about the tower that gives you gem. Now, which one in my opinion is the best game pass that you should go for? I would say plus to equip is hands down the best game pass that you can go for because plus to equip can give you more luck. It can give you more drop and it can also give you more damage. Why? Of course, this is because of luck teams and drop team. However, I would say the second running up would most definitely be two times coins because this is going to allow you to progress so much faster. Pretty good. Auto clicker is always a good choice so that you don't have to have an auto clicker on. Multi open is always a nice option as well as you can progress a bit faster, but this is not a necessary one. Multi quirks is not necessary. Fast open is probably, I'd say, the third best one as you can get through openings a lot faster. Super lucky is not necessary, but if you have the extra money, why not, right? Now that we have game passes out of the way, we can move on to luck teams and how to get them as fast as possible. Now, luck teams are the second thing that you should focus on after you've gone into the max map. The reason is because once you get a good luck team, as you guys can see, the luck increases by a lot, but it's easier to pull cosmic units, cosmic summons, as well as it's way easier to pull godly mythical units, which are some of the best units in the game as well. Now, how do you get a good luck team like this one? Well, it's really simple. The best way to do it is to go to green planet, roll for mythical units as they are the fastest and easiest to get, and they are the least expensive. And once you get them, you head over to champion city, go over to the machine area and ascend them twice. If you don't know how to ascend them, it's really simple. You just do this, you ascend them once. And after that, you can ascend them again. You, you're going to need a couple of them. And that's why I'm saying to roll on the lowest map because it's way easier to get the mythical units there. Once you have ascended that unit, you will need to try to go and do some raids so that you can get enough raid tokens or medals, I should say, in order to do enough rolls on them to be able to get a good quirk. Now, I'm going to do an example with one of my Ichidakis here. Hopefully, I have another one. Okay, we'll just do this guy. So what you're going to want to do is you want to go to auto reroll and you want to select lucky two, lucky three, and leprechaun. And then you just want to roll until you get one of them. Obviously, the most optimal one that you want to go for is leprechaun and lucky three. You cannot stack two leprechauns. Unfortunately, it's something that the game doesn't let you do. However, you can have lucky three and leprechaun, which would be the highest amount of luck that that unit can provide for your 
team. Obviously, I'm not gonna sit here and do this. It's gonna take a while and I'm wasting uh, metals, so I'm just gonna stop. But let's move on to drop team. Now, drop teams are pretty much the same thing here, but the only difference is you want units that can do a little bit of more damage. So optimally, you wanna go for whatever the highest map unit, mythical or godly mythical is. I would recommend anywhere from Curse City to Land of Ants, godly mythicals in order to get your drop perks on. Now, it won't matter because they're going to be rendered useless in future updates regardless so most of the time when i have a drop team i usually have one of my highest damage dealers as followed and followed with a bunch of other drop units and the same thing is going to apply you want to ascend them twice and just try to roll or collector two collector three or thief and these are the highest drop multipliers for your team now that we have gotten that out of the way we can move on to the fourth stage which is damage dealing how do i increase my dps and this one is actually very simple but there are a couple systems that you want to look at so cosmic units are the highest damage dealing units that you can get and they will do even more damage if it's a godly cosmic unit but because they do the most damage they are also the hardest to get so what you want to do is you want to have your luck team and you want to roll in two maps under the highest map because in order to get a cosmic unit in the highest map you're going to need an insane luck multiplier which is better if you wait for a luck event to occur so that you can get more as you guys can see here i actually have seven dragon summons from the green planet map as well as six slayer summon map uh six slayer summon six slayer six cosmic slayer wow i cannot say it six cosmic slayer summons from the demon slayer map and the way i was able to get these is simply by rolling in lower maps as you guys can see i had to roll here and i had to roll here with my luck team and overnight i was able to get a decent amount on both now there is a problem with my team here which is the fact that i have three different cosmic gojo which is not necessary at all as you guys can see there's a system called harmony and it, and the more harmony you have the more damage that your team does so what you want to do is you want to actually have a bunch of different type of units on your team so it would be better if i had a cosmic unit from spirit town instead of three different gojos which is why i went for ritsuki so you want to just focus on one cosmic unit and try to get it to ascension 2 and then move on to other cosmic units and like i said the easiest way to get cosmic units is to increase your luck team now the biggest question people have is how do you get more cosmic essence well that's actually really simple as you guys can see i was able to pull a bunch of dragon summons from rolling in the first map now dragon summons give you the monkey guy so you can just throw them away after you have summoned them you can just scrap them for essence once you have not so don't scrap it here what i mean is you can just uh dismantle it for cosmic essence because they are the easiest unit to get and that way you have way more cosmic essence than you actually need and you can go ahead and ascend your unit to a higher level so let me go show you hopefully everything that i've been telling you so far has been straightforward and understandable because i can understand that uh, maybe i've been talking too fast or maybe i've been missing some things or leaving things out and if i have been please do let me know in the comments down below i am trying to help you guys out as much as possible but let's go over to the cosmic machine over here which is where you're going to be able to put your cosmic summons at like this dragon summon now if you pull a godly version of this unit it might might be in your best interest to keep it however to pull a godly cosmic unit it's going to be very very difficult to do as in most of the time it's not going to happen so just like this you're going to go ahead and open all of your dragon summons now the biggest question that people are going to be asking is how do you get good traits especially cosmic cosmic quirks on your cosmic units well guys that's why we have a drop team because when you do raids if you use your drop team on the bosses you will get way more tokens slash metals so that you can do more rerolls on your cosmic on your cosmic unit this is the last one please if it's godly that'd be awesome bro that'd be awesome for the video please freaking monkey all right anyways now that we have gone in all of these we can go ahead and destroy them because none of them were godly so we can just go ahead and destroy them for cosmic essence like you can see here i'm not worried about it at all and that's one of the ways that you can get more cosmic essence to then be able to try to get ascension 2 on some of your units now i would go further and further into this and and even do the Ritsuki Ascension 2 but I fear that this video is gone for way too long and I just wanted this video to be a practical explanation on how you can get to the last stages of this game become basically an end game player as fast as possible with these tips so I hope you guys enjoyed here's another video that I think you guys would love to watch let me know in the comments down below if you agree with my tips if you have any more tips for people who are going to play this game and anything like that but that's about it and I'll see you guys in the next one